be a bunch of bad luck, wouldn't it? So we're at Pink Taco. This is like, when Pink Taco started, this is a club on Saint Laurent. Um, me and my buddy, we used to come here a lot. We basically were the gangsters and the godfathers of this place, Pink Taco. The number one customers, we bought a bunch of drinks here. This is where I like learned how to drink and drank a lot of alcohol, made a lot of friends. And this is what I used to do to like meet girls. I would go to clubs on Saint Laurent. Now, I just do my shit and I do it in a very excellent way where people just come to me and the attraction just happens in reverse instead of me going out and like trying to hunt. So yeah, this is Saint Laurent. This is like the party street of Montreal. Uh, for those of you on, on, on uh, social media who are not from Montreal, this is it. If you come to Montreal, you need to come to Saint Laurent. And for all you English people, Saint Lawrence. <laughs> so here it is, man. Fuck. Check it out. I'll start from the beginning. So there was this girl who I met at Chapter Starbucks. That's like the Barnes and Noble of, it's like the Barnes and Noble of Montreal. Okay, so I met her there. She was like pretty and she had like nice earrings on. So I talked to her, met her, became her friend, took her to Sherbrooke and, and Saint Laurent, which is Coco, which is like the number one club at the time. Took her there, we had some fun, had a couple of drinks. Then I brought her to Pink Taco, right? This place. And you know, we had fun here. She was not like too much of a club person, so she felt kind of like congested. So I'm like, you know what, it's cool. So I walked her there, got her in a cab, and I made out with her right before she went in. And to me, that was a huge accomplishment because this girl is like Miss Columbia, Canada, universe, some shit like that. Super pretty girl. And then guess what? We did not visit that building. Man, we, we should have. But on Lauren Crescent, later on in life, she became my neighbor. She was my fucking neighbor, that same girl. Imagine the crazy coincidences that happened in my life. Now, let me tell you another coincidence, which will tell you how small Montreal is. So I do this thing with this girl. The next day, we meet at Starbucks for a Lair event. Okay, now, I mean, Lair is like this RSD thing where we have like an inner circle. It's like a bunch of like pickup artists meeting to like how do we get girls and like how do we uh, interact with girls type thing. This is like 12 years ago or some shit. Anyway. So then we go to Starbucks for this Larry event, right? So I'll tell you exactly what I did. So again, right, I'm at this point, I'm learning pickup and I'm learning how to talk to girls. I'm learning about, uh, I don't know, actually it wasn't 12 years, it was probably like 2013, 2011. It was like five years ago, it was five years ago, right? So, so, I, so this happens. That's when I like learn about RSD and all this, like around like 2010, 2011. So we go in this fucking Starbucks, right? And yeah, it was, it was this one, right? So we are here on this this table here, right? So we're all like sitting here, just like that. It's like I don't know, ten of us, and we're discussing all these like lingo about uh, HB10 and lay reports and field reports and stuff. And then what, what happened is I wanted to like prove to them that like I'm a gangster, right? So right across the hall there, this used to be different. So this has changed a lot. Huh? This has become very like expansive. So what used to happen is this wasn't there. There was a chair here and there was a girl sitting right here. So I walked from there and I literally just sat right here, right? So imagine like, Okay, just imagine this, imagine that's the girl, and I'm sitting here, right, and I'm talking to her. But then, you know, I start doing, like, my, my pickup thing, and I, I do the opener, I start talking to her, <laughs> and we start talking about stuff, right? So she's like, what did you do yesterday, what did you do before? So we're talking, and I start telling her about my interaction with that, that Miss Columbia girl, right? And, and, and she's talking and talking, and she's like, wait, are you Farhan? And I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, yeah, she's like, you're talking about my roommate. And she just stopped, like just, because I was hitting on her too, right? So instead of like being happy, I was greedy. I, I, I made out with that girl and like, you know, try to make her my girlfriend, whatever. And now I come here and I'm talking to her roommate, which I don't know. And then actually the roommate was even hotter, which is pretty cool. I still remember her face like seven years ago. And, uh, and then after that moment, it was over with both girls. That other Colombian girl stopped responding to text. It was over, and then obviously she became my my like next door neighbor, which was also awkward. And uh, yeah, that's it.
This is your boy, Sir Symmetry, and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about my buddy, the one and only Doc Testosterone. You, some may call him Farhan, I call him Bahia. I'm trying to think about one moment that we've had together, but there's just so many fucking moments that we've had, and I think the biggest thing that I could take away from Doc Testosterone, his plan, Farhan, I'm gonna call him Bahia. The biggest thing I take away from Bahia is his relentlessness. How much he fucking works. He doesn't cut any fucking corners. So everything that he does, he goes 100% in. If, that's, if there's one thing that I learned from him, is to go all in. Go the fuck, like, don't play any games, but give it everything if you're not gonna give it everything don't fucking do it and that's how farhan is when he loves something he's just gonna fucking do it and he doesn't stop hey what's up bro uh happy birthday you old man um let me think of a really good fun memory i could think of would be uh us partying out and hanging out in vegas and uh, uh one specific night was when uh we party out in hakkasan at mgm and I think it was like Canadian girls. You had a broken accent in uh, Indian. I was uh, Hawaiian who didn't know very good English. And oh, tell me uh, how you party and uh, uh, how, how, uh, how we, we club and, and uh, the nightlife here. Uh, we kept that on for so much. And I, 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 it was hard to maintain and like the laughter and I laugh a lot, and, and you know when I'm like laughing inside. That was a hilarious night that I could think of. Um, definitely a ton of fun. All the, uh, uh, the times we go to the gym were, were fun, you know, just talking about psychology, uh, talk about uh, health, fitness, and just trying to stay healthy and uh, get 12, of course. So happy birthday, bro. Uh, take care, stay hungry.